Hi everyone, it's Nat here. So I have this book in front of me. It's Harpened and Revisited. And I love these advertisements on the front cover and I think it's got some in the back as well. So I might cut them out individually to use just as ephemera to stick on collages or wherever. But what really drew me to this book it's 1985, but it's obviously real vintage pictures. And they are perfect size for postcards. And it's just full of them. So that's what I want to do with this. I want to make faux postcards. So, because they are just perfect for it. It's a little bit glossy, but that doesn't matter. I figure um, even some of the um, vintage postcards are glossy. So that doesn't matter. And then what I've got is... Of course, some of my um, blank sort of book pages that I've been ripping out of books. I've got some bigger ones here. So I might use those to back the postcards with. So what I'm going to do is just remove the covers first. Now I'll just put them to the side because I'll definitely use those. That's a pretty cool picture too. I could make that into a postcard as well. Now I might just take a cart and keep that music page. That I think can go in my recycle bin. So then it's just removing the pages. So I'll just do a few at a time. The only problem is to decide which side I want to use. I hope you are all doing well. It has been lovely gardening weather here, so I've been at it again today. I planted some broccoli in my raised garden bed. Added a bit more potting mix to it and dug it in. Then I mulched it and mulched my lettuces. It's good to finally see some progress happening in my yard. And I pruned a perennial and a vine. I've got a, it's like a potato vine. I think it's a relative of the potato vine. It's called a wonga wonga and it has orange flowers. But that has um, taken off substantially in the last year up over the neighbor's fence. <laughs> so I thought I'd better do something about that. I have a bud layer that's taken off too, so I must get out and prune that tomorrow, hopefully. But uh, this week I have no bookstore on Friday because it's Easter weekend, so... Um, yeah, so that gives me an extra day to hang around home and I'm determined to focus on the garden and cleaning my craft room this week, which will be good. Just trying to get some of the glue off so I can get these pages apart. Suppose it doesn't really matter. This is going to be a fun project, I think. And there's just so many in this book that I'll be able to mess make a whole heap. Put that down there. The same with that one. All right, now I'm going to try using my cutter here. One, I think. can't remember. I'm not really good with this and I tend to get things crooked, but I'll see how it goes. If I have too much trouble, I'll revert back to my scissors. So I think I really like this one. National Children's Home. The Sanitarium. Or Sanatorium, it's called. That doesn't sound too good, but I like the picture, so I'll use that one. Now I've got to figure out where... Where to cut it? Yeah, so that's not really straight. Persevere. It might get better with practice. got sick of cutting things crooked with my scissors or having to use my big cutter all the time that's why I grabbed this 
but I haven't used it a lot, so it take, does take a bit of getting used to. And there's an edge around there. I might just cut that off a bit afterwards, though, so it's, I might have to hang it over a little bit more. Yeah, don't like it. I think I'll go back to my scissors. <laughs> I mean, it's cutting all right, but I can't get it straight because the little this little thing moves too much and that. That's my excuse anyway. So, not that I can get it straight with my scissors, but I'll cut the white bits off. So I'll cut a few of these out and then we'll stick them down and make them and then I'll probably go off camera and do the rest so you don't have to watch me do every single one of them. It's a great photo. Carriers, carrier and contractor. The horse and cart, I do like that. So last time I made these faux postcards, I used my dies and that was great fun too to use them. So I don't use them a lot and they were really handy for using with the pictures that were pretty boring and I could just figure out little parts of them to cut out that looked cool within the um, shape of the die. But of course you can make them just like this and cut them out. And these pictures are really great. I wouldn't want to cut these down at all, so. I think we'll start with four. What have we got here? Put my rubbish in the bin while I'm at it. We've got National Children's Home Laundry. Yeah, well, that one's better than the other side. And that's paint printing works at the National Children's Home. Yeah, so I think those two are the best ones on that side. And I like how it says what they are on there as well. So we'll have that on the actual postcard. Just had some tuna mornay for tea, that was nice. And I've got a nice white hot chocolate sitting here to sip on while I do this. It's that time of the night where I can hang out in my craft room. So I think, was it last night or the night before? It might have been the night before. Um, I wasn't feeling too crash hot, so to make myself feel better, I thought I'd go to Macca's and buy myself a McFlurry. So I, I usually get an M&M &M McFlurry with chocolate sauce. <laughs> Got to have the chocolate sauce. So anyway, we I went down with my son and it was dark. Drove down there, wind the window down, order my McFlurry, go around to get it. And as she gives it to me, I look at it and I see that it's sort of like half full. And I thought, oh, you know, a bit of a rip off. But usually at night times, I think they have the new, new stuff. So sort of, you know, they're learning, so that's all right. I said to my son, I bet you there's no chocolate sauce. And of course, there was no chocolate sauce, even though I paid for it. And then we're driving out of um, McDonald's. My window is still down. And I see this <laughs> huntsman. It was only half size, <laughs> but big enough to give me the heebie-jeebies. Running right in front of my face, towards my side, where my open window is. So it was about, so probably started off about a foot from the edge to turn around the corner and go into my window. <laughs> and it was running pretty fast. So there am I trying to drive with one hand while I'm trying to put my window up and the window couldn't go fast enough, I tell you. <laughs> and I was a little bit wobbly with me driving. I've played that scenario in my head a number of times and felt that I'd be nice and calm, but no, no, no. And it wasn't even inside the car. So, yes, it just wasn't my night. But anyway, I managed to shut the window just before he got in, thankfully. And then, luckily we only had to drive up like one street to get home because <laughs> there he was running around on the windscreen the whole time. And we were keeping an eye on him so I knew where he was when I got home. And he was running over my son's side. And I'm thinking, oh, my son's not going to want to get out of the car now. And yeah, <laughs> but we got out and he did stay on the windscreen, near the wind 
it's green wiper so i was able to i'm sorry for any spider lovers that are watching but i was able to dispose of him if he wasn't on the car if they're outside and far enough away from the house i'll leave them alone but yeah if they're on my car or in my house um, they get disposed of because I can't, I can't deal with them. Not when they move. They're all right if they stay still. But once they move, I yeah, do have a bit of a phobia. I never even used to be able to dispose of them. I used to have to ring someone to come and remove them for me. <laughs> no wonder I didn't have anyone to do it for me. So I had to deal with it. And I can't sleep or get on with anything in the house if I know they're in there. So... All right, so that's a start. So let's back those onto some paper now. Now I have, I'm gonna try using my glass cutting board for this, might be easier to clean off. Let's start with this page. Let's just see how they'll fit on here. Do I like? Yeah, then we could fit five on there or something. So I might start over this side. side so yeah in for a few abnormally warm days I think we're in the um, lower 30s for the next few days weather wise All right, so two more on there. Just double check, they're gonna fit good, yes. I can't stand how sticky this glue gets. So. It's a good way to use up these bigger um, blank book pages from the start of the books that I've been tearing up. So that's my first sheet done. So what I might do is go and cut out. I was going to say the rest, but there is a lot there. I'll see how I go might go watch something and cut out the rest of the pictures. So here are all the bits cut out and backed onto the paper. Firstly, these are all the little bits of ephemera that I cut out of the cover and a few of the pages. So there was a fair bit there and these are really cool. So I might leave these as they are and when I go to use them, I'll decide whether I want to ink them or back them onto anything. That one's about pianos, which is cool. Then there's some about the um, the Harpenden races, 
And I know there's a postcard about the race track in that as well, so I might put them together for a horse race journal or something sometime. So that was really cool to get all of that out of that little book. And all of these, so I used like the book pages to back all of them. And there's heaps, so I have a pile of cutting out to do now. So I might actually take these into the lounge room, put on some Netflix and sit down and cut all of these out. And then we will come back and see what we're going to do with them after that. So here are the postcards that I cut out, all backed, ready to go. And there were heaps of them. I have a sore hand now for after all that cutting, but it was worth it. So now what I think I'd like to do is corner around a bit. So I will do that. I've got this We Are Memories Keepers. We Are Memory Keepers corner rounder that has the three different sizes. And I'm looking at the seven millimeter. And I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, so that works out quite nice. I also have a four millimeter if I, some of them have writing right down, um, almost against the side. And I'm, I'm a bit worried about cutting that off with a big corner rounder. So I might use the four millimeter on some of them. Might just give it a go on this one so I can assess the size. That didn't work. That's better. Actually, that's quite a nice size too. Both look pretty cool. So I will continue on with that. I finished corner rounding all of the postcards. These two I didn't corner round. I really like them without rounding the corners. And it just shows that, you know, if you don't have a corner rounder, it doesn't matter. They still look really cool. They probably look even more authentic. But um, because of my crooked cutting, especially at the corners, um, I find it neatens it a bit to corner round and it stops the corners getting damaged as much. So they're looking really good. Now I was gonna ink around the edges and ink in a bit just to make them look more vintage, but I actually think they look good the way they are. And I think it would depend on what sort of journal I'm going to put them in as to what color ink I use. Like I would use vintage photo or walnut stone uh, for a real vintage grungy sort of look, but I'd also use black for some of them. Some of them are like laboratories and things like that. And I think that'd go nice in a goth style journal. Um, and I'd probably want black around them. So I'm not going to ink around them because I actually think they, they're grungy and nice as they are just because of the color on them. And they're so the photos are so vintage. But what I will do is stamp a postcard title. So I've got the Tim Holtz Collection Stampers Anonymous postcards. So um, I, that's one of my recent purchases because I saw the lovely Wendy Mason using them and I thought I must have those because I, I have some other ones but they're really small and that and they just don't work. So, And I'm looking at this one specifically. I love the look of that. I mean, they're all cool. I might change it up halfway but I don't know. I've got so many to do that it's probably best if I just stick to the one and go for it. So I think we'll do that. So I've got my black soot distress ink here. I must invest in a big one of these. Because, um, yeah, when you're doing stamping with the bigger stamps, it's a bit frustrating if you have to do a lot of stamping and you've only got this small ink pad. But what I might do is just turn, make sure I've got them the right way, and turn a whole lot of these upside down on my mat. I've just got my mat underneath for a bit of sponginess. So hopefully that helps with the stamping. I think I can fit nine on here. Let's 
give it a nice um, coating for the first stamp especially. Try and get them somewhat centre-ish. Oh, that looks great. <laughs> you never know until you try. So yeah, really happy with that stamp. So I probably will leave it with that one. It's so nice and vintage looking. I was going to put a stamp on too. But it's sort of, I think, the pictures are of an English county or whatever. And so I thought I'd do English stamps. I've got a lot of those Queen stamps, but they're like colour, and I think colour would actually ruin these. So debating now whether to just leave them with the postcard thing on as is, just plain like that, or whether to do a stamped stamp. I can always do a bit of this and a bit of that. All right, so they look really cool. So I will finish doing that with the rest of them. So I've got my stamp album out. I think stuff, I might use some of my stamps because the ones in this album are all access to a, a collection that I have. So, and I tend to hoard them, <laughs> even though I've got copies of them. So um, why not just use some? They probably will look pretty cool, so. So I might just um, adhere them with the glue stick. So I'll just grab a couple of our postcards. Let's have a look. Doesn't matter if we go over our little postcard thing, I suppose in um, real life, <laughs> that's what happens is it gets stuck everywhere, so. whack them on. I've got a lot of queens but not many of the kings and stuff. So that looks all right. It's already got postage marks on it. Might be able to do a little cancellation or something afterwards. We will see. So I might just like that and go for it. Just leave that there. I was half asleep and got up really late and still haven't woken up yet. I was up real late last night though, cutting all of these out. And watching Netflix as usual, getting into bad habits, staying up really late and um, sleeping in a lot. But it doesn't really matter because, I, you know, there's only a few days where I have to go out early. So I just make sure I can get up on those mornings. Otherwise, I like, I like being up at night where it's nice and quiet. I seem to get a lot more of this sort of stuff done at that time than I would if I was trying to do it during the day. These ones might be a bit big, so I might put them to the side. Whenever I get stamps, I go through my collection, and if I've got a better one that I've just got, I replace the one that's in my collection with that, and then the excess. I usually keep like two of each, and then the excess goes for my crafting. So it looks like we'll start with some of the queens. Got a lot of orange ones, so I'll pull a few of them out. Used to be quite cheap to get bulk stamps um, on the internet, but I've noticed that they're quite expensive these days. Debating whether I'm going to stamp any more on them at all, because I do already have the postmark stamps on them. I don't want to get a little busy and messy, so they might end up just staying like this. So I'm going to go and put stamps on the rest of them now. So these are all my postcards stamped. 
stamped and stamped. <laughs> stamped with the postcard title plus I've put the um, Queen's Head stamp on them and a few different ones elsewhere. So I've let them dry so hopefully they won't all stick together now. Now I'm thinking of trying maybe a bit of ink just around this side on the edges. I don't think it needs it on this side, so, but I think it does on this side. So just debating. I might try my hickory smoke first, which is quite light, and see what I think. And if it's too light, I can go back to my black soot. I do quite like that. I can blend it in a bit as well. Don't know if you'll be able to see that. Could always use the hickory smoke to go in a bit and then the darker around. Whoa, I'm <laughs> throwing things now. So let's see what we think if we did that. I'll just remove that one. And get our black sort. So we can really highlight the edges with the black sort, but go in a bit further with the um, hickory smoke. I do like that. So that will be a lot of work <laughs> to do that with all of them, but oh well. Come this far, I might as well keep going. So, getting a bit of ink on the other side, but that doesn't matter, just makes it look more vintage and grungy. Let's have a look, what do we think? One that's not inked, it's one that's inked, it does define it. Definitely needs it on that side. All right, I'm gonna do some inking. So I have inked twice around all of my postcards, once with the hickory smoke and then again with the black soot. And I think they look awesome. So I'm gonna leave them just like that. So I don't know how I managed to get ink on them, some of them, but where there's a will, there's a will. <laughs> I always do stuff like that. But that's all right, it just makes them look more vintage anyway. So these are all the postcards I've got. I wanna count them afterwards. Let's have a look, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight there. Might have got some on there that's about 30 when I lay them on the other ones but I shouldn't have god see look at that so I don't know how I did that because I was thinking the other side <laughs> So there's about 50, I'd say, at least 50 postcards here, just out of that one little book. So that's really cool. And then we got all the other um, a 
ephemera as well. So I'm heaps happy with that. So I hope that gave you some ideas. I found that a pretty boring book, but it's amazing, you know, what you can do with these boring books sometimes. So that's great mass making effort. So I hope you enjoyed that. Take care of yourselves and I will see you again soon. Bye.